Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 8th of 2024 is titled Helping Hand in Cassiopeia. So what do we see here? Well, here we see some dust clouds in the constellation of Cassiopeia sort of reaching out in towards the stars there on the left. Now the dust clouds are dark dusty areas containing a little bit higher concentration of material than the surrounding areas. And what that means is that you are blocking out the light from behind it. Now it's they're not solid by any sense. They're actually a pretty good vacuum. But the particles there spread out over light years, then eventually block out the light from behind. And it's essentially that every line of sight that you could take through that cloud eventually hits a tiny dust particle. And that blocks out and absorbs all of that light from behind, keeping it invisible to us. Now within those dust clouds, we're having stars form. Stars continue to form in there, especially in the darkest, densest knots, and are in the process of forming new stars that will add to a star cluster here. And that process continues, but it takes a long time. So we won't see it change any uh, in any kind of human life span. But over tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years, new stars will form and they will begin to eat away at this dust and work their way through it, condensing more of it into helping star formation go and in addition, clearing out the dust from around it. So in the long run, we will see just a cluster of stars here. And that will be what we call an open cluster, one that is not gravitationally bound together. There's not enough material here for the gravity of the stars to hold each other forever. So they will slowly spread out and over hundreds of millions of years. And there will then be no more dust around here. The dust will slowly be cleared out with only little wisps of it left behind. And in fact, we see some of that off to the left around those stars. And we see the blue color of a reflection nebula that is present. And the reflection nebula is the very diffuse dust around these stars that is scattering light and will be a blue in color because it scatters the blue light preferentially. It's much better at scattering short wavelengths like the blue than it is longer red wavelengths. So we will continue and that process will continue and we will over time see that the reflection nebula move into what looks like the dustier areas right now. Now when we look at the dust out in space it does a couple of things to starlight. First of all we've seen it already it absorbs the starlight making it uh, dark in some of those areas and making it fainter in others where the starlight does not completely get through. But remember that the dust also absorbs the blue light better than the red light. And because it does that you can if you look at the stars there you will see stars in the dustier areas will tend to look redder. And that means that their blue light has been absorbed. It's not that they're necessarily truly red stars, but that the blue light has been absorbed from them and makes them appear redder than they otherwise would. So this is called interstellar reddening, which changes the colors of the stars depending on how much dust we have to look through. So that was our picture of the day for November 8th of 2024. It was titled Helping Hand in Cassiopeia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Until th so until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.